averaging operator notated using symbol mu. Mu f of x equals 1 by 2 times f of x plus h by 2 plus f of x minus h by 2. Recall that central difference operator was taking difference between these two values. Here, averaging operator is taking average of these two values f of x plus h by 2 and f of x minus h by 2. Because consider two numbers x1 and x2. When you evaluate the average, it will be x1 plus x2 divided by 2. The case is similar here for the working of averaging operator. Let us discuss a few relations between difference operators. Mu equals 1 by 2 times e raised to 1 by 2 plus e raised to negative 1 by 2. When you give f of x as input to operator mu which is the averaging operator, the output displayed will be 1 by 2 times f of x plus h by 2 plus f of x minus h by 2 where h is the interval of differencing. We can rewrite f of x plus h by 2 as e raised to 1 by 2 acting on f of x. This is because when e raised to n acts on f of x, the output is f of x plus nh. Here, the order of shift operator is 1 by 2. Therefore, output displayed will be f of x plus h by 2. Similarly, you can rewrite f of x minus h by 2 as e raised to minus 1 by 2 acting on f of x because when e raised to negative 1 acts on f of x, output is f of x minus nh. Here we have n equals 1 by 2. When you give n equals 1 by 2 here, we have e raised to negative 1 by 2 f of x displays the output f of x minus h by 2. Thus, we have these two terms rewritten using shift operator. This is inverse shift operator and this is shift operator. We have f of x that can be taken outside these two terms and now we have 1 by 2 into e raised to 1 by 2 plus e raised to negative 1 by 2 has the common input f of x which would mean that giving f of x as input to mu is exactly the same as giving the same input f of x to the operator 1 by 2 times e raised to 1 by 2 plus e raised to negative 1 by 2. Thus we have mu equals 1 by 2 times e raised to 1 by 2 plus e raised to negative 1 by 2.